And now to the fallout from yesterday's plant fire. Harris County wasting no time taking legal action against ExxonMobil for this industrial emergency. An explosion that injured 30 and led to a shelter in place for hours in several Baytown neighborhoods. The fire has been declared completely out. But now the company has a long road of legal issues ahead with that lawsuit announced today by the Harris County Attorney's Office. Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold live in Baytown for us. And Robert, it's not just the county attorney seeking answers here. In addition to the county's lawsuit, the Harris County Fire Marshal's Office sent ExxonMobil a subpoena today to preserve all documents so those can be reviewed as part of its investigation. This is the fourth petrochemical-related fire in six months in Harris County, and county officials say they're fed up. Does make any difference if it's an accident or not. Rock Owens. If you cause, suffer, or allow, or permit air pollution, um, you're liable. He's managing attorney for the Harris County Attorney's Environmental Group. There have been a string of incidents in Harris County starting March 16th with a fire in a different part of ExxonMobil's Baytown complex. The next day, a massive fire at ITC, followed by an April 2nd fire at Kimco, and then yesterday's fire at ExxonMobil's Olefins unit. Well, we have an incident in Harris County about every three to six months that's similar to this, but it seems like we've had more than our fair share this year. Owen says the ultimate goal of lawsuits filed over petrochemical incidents isn't money. It's to get an order from a court ordering the company to take action to make sure that these conditions don't occur again. The lawsuit filed by the county over Wednesday's fire claims violations of Texas's Clean Air Act. This is the second time this year the county sued. ExxonMobil. That lawsuit is also ongoing. Owen says the county is taking a more aggressive legal approach to these types of cases to hopefully spur change. We're looking at aging infrastructure and a system where industry has been self-regulating and there just really has been a lack of accountability. No cause has been determined for yesterday's fire. Exxon Mobil officials, however, point out the company has spent more than $1 billion at the Baytown complex to improve environmental performance and reduce overall air emissions by 29% since 2005. Reporting live from Baytown, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.